Xbox has been home to plenty of exclusives, but none have defined the platform and the brand quite like Halo. Next year's Halo 5 will be tied with Halo 3 for the longest time new console owners had to wait for a matching game. And so the Master Chief Collection is something of a stopgap measure, the appetizer before the meal. And as far as appetizers go, it's pretty damn tasty. As the name implies, the Master Chief Collection collects all four games featuring John117 as the playable character. This handedly lets 343 avoid including ODST and Reach. But the package isn't by any means thin. Four entire Halo games represent quite a lot of Halo, to the point that even the most ardent fans will likely need to pace themselves if they want to see all of them through again. To that end, the game smartly lets you hop around at your leisure. Every game and stage is unlocked from the beginning, so if you'd rather jump around or revisit some favorite stages, you can. It also introduces curated playlists. These can be categorized by game, but the best are the cross-game playlists that give an overview of how the series progressed. One might track various vehicle stages throughout the games, or another might pit you against the flood over and over. One called Final Four collects all the climaxes from each game and bundles them together. It's a simple, ingenious way to showcase the series' history. Unfortunately, these playlists are only curated by 343. The showpiece of this collection is Halo 2 Anniversary, another loving makeover in the style of the Halo Combat Evolved Anniversary released in 2011. Thanks to a higher frame rate and lighting flourishes for the new generation, the makeover looks better than the one given to Combat Evolved. Plus, it benefits from new, beautifully rendered cutscenes. Halo Anniversary has undergone the same treatment, but its previously revised textures aren't quite as detailed as the new ones made for Halo 2. Halo 3 and Halo 4 both received some frame rate boosts and other small tweaks, which helps the package feel cohesive. If you need a reminder of just how impressive the achievement is, the first two games allow you to switch back to the original textures at the press of a button. Halo Anniversary did this well, but a choppy delay meant the gimmick wasn't very functional. The Master Chief Collection makes this instantaneous, which means it's easy to compare and contrast any environment you come across. Multiplayer offers a similarly stark contrast, albeit in a different way. The classic maps have largely been retained in their original states, given a few visual tweaks but otherwise remaining similar. Since Halo 2 is the showpiece, some of its maps have been rebuilt in the new impressive engine. It isn't quite the instantaneous comparison offered by the single player, but it does go a long way towards showing how far the progress has come. Other than those handful of maps and some graphical tweaks though, multiplayer is very much intended as a museum of Halo history. As a result, the maps and modes are kept in walled gardens. Modes and options that only appeared in particular games like Race Territories and Regicide remain distinctly in their own space. Halo The Master Chief Collection has a handful of quirks and legacy issues, but those don't diminish the achievement. It's a stellar collection of some of the best games of the last few generations, with options galore and clever ideas like playlists to breathe new life into old content. It's a must-have for Halo fans and may rightly serve as a satisfying introduction to newcomers. We here at Jack News give Halo The Master Chief Collection an 8 out of 10. To see the full review and plenty of other video game content like this, be sure to head over to shacknews.com.